everybody ready? Ready? Here we go. The KBTA Morning Show with Spence. Heard by millions. On New Stock 1590. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. KBTA. We're here at 738. On the phone with me is Drew and Young. Drew and good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How you doing, Spence? I know it's early for band people, but we're talking about a great benefit. Uh, you are the Walking Phoenixes, and that's a tribute band for Johnny Cash, and you're doing a big show that's going to be on the Internet. It's happening Saturday, March 27th. Now, first of all, let's just go over the importance of the benefit here because it's a great, great cause, and we're raising funds, and then we'll get into the great music of Johnny Cash. But first of all, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, benefit? Uh, yeah, well, this uh, this benefits mesothelioma research. It's a very uh, rare disease. It's funny that, I mean, it's not funny. Uh, I talk to people about that, and, and many people have never even heard of uh, mesothelioma. And it's something that, uh, that you can get when you're exposed to asbestos. A lot of veterans um, have that uh, have that disease, and that's the tragedy of it. Because with the veterans being affected by this, you know, they had to battle so many things: the war, things like Agent Orange, and all of that. And a lot of right. folks out there, like you say, uh, Druin, are ignorant of what this means to people and how deadly this disease is, and who gets it, and them not being able to trace it back to the cause. So. These kinds of benefits not only bring funds to the people to help them, but it also gives more awareness to uh, just another hurdle that the veterans have to go over. And people in the general public who might have worked with asbestos in their working years through the 60s, I'm imagining mostly, because we all remember when they cleaned out the asbestos out of a lot of buildings, and that gave you a hint as to this stuff must be pretty nasty. So congratulations to you and the Walking Phoenixes for doing this tribute concert. Let's go over the bill. To start with, the Walking Phoenixes, that's you, and you're the lead singer who's doing the Johnny Cash music. How did you guys uh, form? Uh, you know, it, years ago, uh, my buddy Jordan, uh, Jordan uh, actually was the lead, singer, uh, the lead singer of the Walking Phoenixes, and I was a guitar player. And it started off as kind of a, a joke in a way, because he had, he had the voice, and uh, I told him, he was playing in my cover band uh, as a as a sub for the Red Musk, and he uh, he was like, we should ask Johnny Cash for the genre. So I told him, I said, why don't we just do a tribute band, and we'll have you be the singer, I'll be the guitar player, we'll get a bass player, all that. And uh, so then we started playing gigs, and it was getting really popular. And then Jordan, pretty much overnight, got a record contract, and now he's in a band called Hollywood Undead, and they're huge. So... I tried to find a singer for the band and auditioned, and I couldn't find anybody. We were under contract with Lake Arrowhead, the Jonathan Club in Santa Monica, and I just couldn't find anybody. So my bass player said, dude, you got to sing, or you got to learn to sing, or you got to do something. <laughs> so I called Jordan. I said, what do I do, man? How, what? He's like, listen to, uh, listen to the Mr. Ed show and some old talk radio so you can start talking like this. I became the singer. Moved uh, my position from guitar player to lead singer, and then that's the story from uh, currently. <laughs> and so, you chose Walking Phoenixes because? Well, it was a play on words because uh, the actor Walking Phoenix and then the movie Walk the Line spelled walking like you're walking down the street, Phoenixes. Hopefully people get the reference, and uh, we could also avoid getting sued by Joaquin Phoenix himself. That's right. That's right. And you're also, uh, you were on the Tom Hilton show a couple of times back in the day on Saturday mornings here. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I heard you it's sing. I heard you sing. And I will tell you, folks, the art of getting the Johnny Cash voice, and when we talked about it off air, it, it shows you what a good musician you are. You're not really trying to copy. You get the soul, you get the heart, you get the feeling, and you get there. And you were great. I mean, I heard you a few times on the Tom Hilton show here on Saturday mornings on KVTA, and it was really, really excellent. So a lot of people, it's just like the John Wayne impersonation. After a few beers, everybody thinks they sound like him, and they really don't. And a lot of people think they can do the Cash voice, but it, there's something there that's different in Johnny Cash's voice that most impersonators are just hamming it up. They don't pay tribute to it. And you, you do such a good job. And I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash. When I was a kid, I was like the Neil Young, Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell guy. Our neighbors played a lot of cash, and I used to all say, oh, he's not this and he's not that. Then Johnny Cash comes on the television 
with his own variety show. And it was yeah. remarkable. If you look at what Johnny Cash did to music back then, we're talking 1969. He was sort of the country guy, but he went out on edge here. I'm looking at the guests that he had back in the day. Bob Dylan, Joni Mitchell, Linda Ronstadt, Buffy St. Marie, the Cowsills. He had so many great yeah. players. The Monkees, for crying out loud, uh, were on the show. And he just, he really paid tribute to the music that was young and current along with what he did. Because I, I really believe they were kindred spirits because Cash was a bit of a wild man. Oh, yeah. It's right into, uh, I, I mean, we relate. Everyone in the band relates. Uh, but, yeah, that that is, um, yeah, that's really something. All the artists that he brought in on those shows. Cause I, I would see, you know, the reruns and uh I believe even uh, Dennis Hopper was on the show. Oh, it goes. It's just crazy to see. Who, uh, the Raging Cajun, the uh, wonderful Doug Kershaw was on the show, too. And another one just for locals, uh, the name Joey Scarberry. Anybody who knows him, he did the uh, the song Believe It or Not, I'm Walking on Air, The Greatest American Hero. He was actually oh, yeah. He was from Thousand Oaks. He was on that show as a very young man. So Cash wow. always had it going on. So when you're looking at a catalog that this is this huge from Cash. And think about it with Trent Reznor uh, late in his life. You know, the yeah. Nine Inch Nails guy, for crying out loud. He started singing with them. And uh, just the the music was always great. And you could see yeah. that everybody from people like Bob Dylan all the way up to Trent Reznor absolutely honored this man. So when you're selecting songs from the catalog of Johnny Cash, where do you go and who does the picking? That's a great question. Uh, there's so many. There's so many good songs. I think we all collaboratively uh, look and, and give each other suggestions. And now we just have a set list that pretty much stays. You know, and we have uh, Jeannie uh, Marie Jacobson up in Sacramento uh, that does a tribute to the Carter family. So we've added um, another element to this too. So we brought in songs that Johnny Cash and June Carter do together also. So that's widened uh, the variety and. Um, we, you know, kind of add our own flair to it. Still has that chicken picking sound from our guitar player, Matt Lake, and uh, Jared holding it down on the bass guitar, Jared Miller, my uh, counterpart from the Red Muffs. Uh, so we all, uh, yeah, we all kind of do a collaborative effort on picking these songs, but they're all great. Hit after hit after hit with Cash. Walking Phoenixes, uh, the Johnny Cash tribute band, Saturday, March 27th. Is this uh, your second virtual concert for, for this cause? It is the second virtual concert, and I do want to say that, yes, it was pre-recorded, but we had to do it that way because of uh, COVID. And um, so we filmed it in all different parts, recorded it in different parts, but it, it comes off as a live experience. And technically... Theoretically, I would say it is live, and this will be it will be the same virtual concert that we aired the first time, but with added bonuses. And I do I want to mention this about that. But you have a local Crystal Lynn that uh, you know is in Thousand Oaks. She was also the, the lead uh, dancer instructor at Borderline Bar and Grill every Wednesday night for a college night. She's very much involved with the community out there. I mean, and we know, obviously, we all know about that tragedy that happened. Mm -hmm. Borderline is very close to our hearts. And we've been a part of that family for over 15 years. We'd always play the Johnny Cash uh, birthday party out there. So um, it's going to be a real honor to bring Crystal to this virtual concert. She's going to be doing virtual line dancing to a couple of these songs. Uh, this is going to be uh, just really fun. And she was with us in the very beginning when we started working with uh, mesothelioma, I think like nine, ten years ago. So she was with us at our, the first concert we did for them out in Malibu. Now, I saw her dancing. Uh, you gave me a, a nice clip of uh, kind of a highlight reel of the show. She not only goes up on toes, but she moonwalks. And it, it is uh, it's pretty cool. I, I saw okay, that, good, that clip. Sorry, i got to stop you right there. I'm sorry. That That is not Crystal. That's our dancer from, from uh, Canada who filmed her parts, recorded uh, her parts in Ireland. There's a couple dancers in this, but that that's Kennedy McGill. She did all of her stuff in Ireland. Crystal does the uh, the line dancing, you know, you will see. But, yeah, well, uh, clogging and line dancing, you know, we, we all have fun with each one. And leave it to a Canadian to sneak in there. My dad's from Montreal. <laughs> My dad's from Montreal. We're big hockey fans. So leave it to another Canadian uh, to come in and show us up with their dancing. But uh, the skill yeah. level of this is rather high. Who's the Elvis? Uh, that's James Crook. James Crook is uh, a friend of ours. I, we actually met him through Brian uh, Hines, uh, the owner of Borderline. So we were all united at that bar back in the day, and we just kept the relationship. 
championship and a repertoire and always brought in James whenever we could as a guest. And he's just a great Elvis impersonation. He's so much fun. So we've got the music of Elvis. We have the music of Johnny Cash all together. Again, I have heard this band play in this very studio. They are fantastic. Can't wait to see the show. It's going to be so much fun. And again, uh, today is also the anniversary, we were talking about it before you came on, of the Allman Brothers Fillmore East. And anytime you have real live music, even if it's uh, via album or something else, real live music is great. And that's what we're going to get with this show. There's nothing like live music. I just, I'm a huge, huge fan of live albums. Some of my favorite albums were live records through all of the genres. So it's going to be great to hear and see you guys playing. Wonderful lineup here. And a great cause, too. So we can go to walkingphoenixes.com. Now, walking, as you said, spelled W-A-L-K-I-N-G, phoenixes, P-H-O-E-N-I-X-E-S. I put the link up on our KVTA Facebook page so everybody can check it out there. And uh, maybe we can pop in another interview before the show because uh, we are coming up. When When is your next show? Uh, well, that is the 27th is our next show, and then we have Lake Arrowhead at the end of August. We don't know what's going to happen in the near future with the COVID thing, but hopefully we'll do another virtual concert, too. So I just yeah, keep your eye peeled and, and uh, see where we're going to be next. But I you do have some stage, stage work coming up. That's good news. You you are going to be yeah. live outside somewhere. Yeah, and we also, it looks like we're going to be playing at the, the Drive-In Theater in Simi Valley April 10th, and that's with the Red Muff, but it's the exact same guys as the Walking Phoenixes, so we'll probably sneak in some Johnny Cash for sure. They still have the Drive-In? pavement out there? They're doing some sort of, you know, they're trying to save the drive the concept of that. And I, this is one of those ways. So they're bringing entertainment to that drive Yeah, we're excited about that. I, I have no idea how that's going to be, but uh, it's definitely social distance and uh, it'll be an experience for sure. It'll be our first drive-in. Perfect venue. All right. Hey, yeah. Drew, and thank you so much for uh, coming on air with us. Great story on how you became the lead singer, the Johnny Cash voice for the Walking Phoenixes. Try www.walkingphoenixes.com. I have the link up on our KVTA Facebook page. Easy to get to. Love the music. And again, Johnny Cash, uh, back in the day when a lot of people weren't so happy with some of the choices he made for his show, he was a very brave, very edgy performer, and his songs are outstanding. My favorite song is... I I'm assuming 25 minutes to go. That is correct. <laughs> Shel Silverstein, sung by Johnny Cash, is That's one right. of the best tunes you are ever. And didn't Shel also write Boy Named Sue? Yeah, and by the way, Spence, if I could just say this, I'm bringing my dad on the show, too, to do a Boy Named Sue with me. Oh. So it's like a father-son thing. It's a lot of fun. And my dad was a, a fire captain in Ventura County uh, and then became an actor towards the end of his retirement and then after retirement. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Boy, you got it in your blood. Awesome. Drew, and thank you so much, and, and we'll promote the show uh, through the 27th. Uh, best of luck to you, and I uh, can't wait to see it online. Thank you, Spence. If I can say one more thing, anyone that donates on the uh, on the website uh, for Mesothelioma and during the concert, it's a 501c3, so it's 100% tax deductible. So we appreciate any donations and sponsors that we can get for this. And by doing this, you're also helping out some veterans, which we need to do all the time here. And this is a great way to reach out to them. All right, Drew and Young, thank right. you so much for uh, coming on air with us here at KVTA. Thank you, Spence, for all your kind words. I appreciate it, man. Thank you.